Here I am like uh, Tim Collins. He's always had pictures of him eating. So I'm not sure if he ever made it up here or not. Cheers. Well, good morning, Amen Motorcycle Entertainment Network viewers. Headed off to Mount Mitchell this morning on this uh, rather dreary start of uh, my morning here in spring in North Carolina. Mount Mitchell. So Mount Mitchell is the highest mountain on the East Coast, believe it or not. It's higher than Mount Washington. And it's off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I have 225 miles to get there. And I think this weather's going to clear. It's, uh, it's moving west to east, and I'm headed west, so I think in an hour or so I should be clear of all this stuff. So, unless I see something interesting, um, we'll catch back up when I exit off of uh, Route 40. And off we get! Well, hello everybody, I'm back. And it looks like I'm going to get lucky with the weather. I'm here in Marion, North Carolina, and I uh, just got off of Route 40, stopped for some petrol. And uh, I'm gonna go up to North Carolina 80, which will take me up to the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I'll take that south. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, the gates at Mount Mitchell will be open and I'll be able to go up there. There's a chance that they may have the park closed. I'll just have to take those chances. If not, it'll be a quick trip up. I'll just head up the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway and do some Blue Ridge Parkway work. Beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, partly sunny, as they say. All right, so we are going to head out of Marion and uh, head up Route 80. And then I'll shoot some video going up from Route 80. And uh, all right, off we get. Steep winding road, next 10 miles. I like the sound of that. I don't want them to be held up by old guy. All right, I'm gonna pull off and turn the camera around so you guys can see without getting sick. <laughs> All right, off we get. It's a parade. It's an MX-5 parade. This would be fun climbing this hill. Maybe I should wait a little bit, except I got a car behind me. This is pretty cool. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy I've got these guys in front of me because I would probably be stupid and hurt myself, so. I've got my gaggle of Miata Guardian Angels in front of me. All right, folks, North Carolina 80 out of Marion, North Carolina, up to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I highly recommend this road, it's awesome. Okay, well we've got 11 miles to the park, and we'll see if the uh, gate's open. Hopefully it is. It's been a while since I've been up there. Well over a year ago, because last time I was up there, I had the Triumph Explorer. And it was with Jeds, and it was awesome. Into the darkness. It's like driving in, it's like driving into a dark tunnel. 
Look at the odds of that. Oh, and it's cold too. <laughs> 10 miles to Mount Mitchell. <laughs> so back there stopped with dad. Beautiful scenery behind him. He's got to look at the motorcycle. He's facing the wrong way. Look at the scenery. It's beautiful. But dad, motorcycle. <laughs> I get it, kid. I get it. Point one mile. Here we go. Mount Mitchell State Park. And the gate's open. Woo! -hoo! Yay. 25 miles an hour. I wonder if that's it right there. 49 degrees. All right. It's officially cold. <laughs> I'm officially underdressed now. <laughs> It's cold. Yeah, we're right at the cloud ceiling. The trees are getting shorter, right? Getting up near the tree line. Oh, here we are. What a wonderful view. Second time I've been up here, and it's obscured. That means I'll just have to come back here again. Okay, here we are at the public summit. 6,578 feet to do my obligatory picture. All right, let's grab a bite to eat, and uh, we'll head back down. Well, here I am. I made it at the top of Mount Mitchell, the highest point east of the Mississippi. I'm at 6,684 on the observation deck, and I'm going to eat some lunch. Here I am like uh, Tim Collins, who's always had pictures of him eating. So, Tim Collins from 40 times around. He's on his, uh, his awesome US trip right now. I'm not sure if he ever made it up here or not. Cheers. walk around I'll show you what's up here at the uh, the summit look up lookout tower it's nice of them to provide pictures of what you would see if we weren't on top of the ceiling here of the clouds. But this is the north view, obviously. You can see a little bit of land out there. And we have a little kid that comes up here, a big butt, little butt. So there we are, we're going to finish up our lunch and then uh, head off to Meadows of Dan. Well, headed back down off the observation deck. Once in a while we get a little peak or view of uh, through the clouds. I'm going to spin you around. That's the road coming up. Cool, there's a lot of hikers and stuff up here too. Not hard enough to
time walking the 300 yards just to get up to this place. <laughs> Can't imagine hiking it. <laughs> Here lies in the hope of a blessed resurrection the body of Reverend Elias, Elisha Mitchell, who after being for 39 years a professor in the University of North Carolina lost his life in the scientific exploration of this mountain in the 64th year of his age, June 27, 1857. So this is his resting place. Awesome. All right, headed back down. This is the road, to, the road, the little pathway from the parking lot. So it's only like 300 yards, but it must climb a couple hundred feet. And that pert near killed me coming up this <laughs> Anyway, there we are. This bike climbed Mount Washington. It also climbed Mount Mitchell. What is that? My hair motorcycle. My hair motorcycle calling me. <laughs> Alright, off we get finally. Alright, we're gonna head down off of Mount Mitchell. We're gonna head towards Meadows of Dan. I got Meadows of Dan and GPS, although I don't really need it because it's just up the parkway. 196 miles. That's gonna take forever. Maybe I need to rethink this. Let's go catch some motorcycles. In the banked corner. Ooh. More Miatas. Miatas and spiders. So the bike in front looks like a fairly recent uh, KTM Super Adventure on the Blue Ridge Parkway and uh, so we climbed maybe almost 3,000 feet and that can't be it's got to be less than that all I know is I got a really long day ahead of me here I've got 190 miles to Meadows of Dan and then I probably at least that back to Durham so it's gonna be well into darkness by the time I get back to Durham. So I was planning to do a trip with Sir Jeds, jedsmotor.com. I was planning to do a trip with him this summer. Um, he was gonna go all the way to the West Coast. I was gonna try to hang with him to Colorado and then come back, not quite make it out as far as he was gonna go, but that's all been nixed now because it's really hard to travel. So it looks like a summer full of day trips um, and maybe some camping um, I, you know maybe maybe the public campgrounds will be more available but certainly no long trips in my in my near future now we're talking about uh, three of us use that same weekend and do the mid-atlantic backcountry discovery route try to do a couple days on that instead but I have to do some research again, looking at campgrounds and find out if we're going to be able to stay overnight anywhere. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I think this summer is going to be just day trips. And that's just the way it is. May we live in interesting times. All right, folks, I'm going to quit talking and let the machine speak. Billy Gibbons says, Maestro, music.
So here's some interesting observations about the Can-Am Spider that I never really thought about before. That makes it very different from a traditional two-wheeled motorcycle. Um, I know from having ridden one that they have some really impressive uh, driver, I'm going to call them driver assists in them, right? So obviously traction control so that if it senses you lifting a tire, it will it will uh, decelerate and maybe even add a little brake. Um, it has a single brake system for all three wheels, it's got a foot pedal. Um, and it's got, it's full of accelerometers. So um, it knows how fast you're going around a corner and stuff. So uh, it will, it'll apply brakes and things like that uh, if you get going too fast in a corner, which is kind of cool. And you can, uh, you can drive it differently from a motorcycle as far as um, watching the rider in front of me. Uh, she, you know, if she got into a corner a little too quick, she can just get on the brakes in the middle of the corner and the uh, traction assist will, uh, will help her out in the middle of the corner. So if she's in trouble, just get on the foot pedal and slow the thing down. And you don't have to worry about lifting a tire or a loss of traction in the front. Um, it'll help compensate for all of that. I mean, obviously you can still go too fast and you know, break all the laws of physics. Um, the KLX is uh, the other cool thing that you may or may not know about is it has power steering on it. So unlike a traditional tri-glide, um, a tri-glide solid rear axle, all it wants to do is go in a straight line. You really got to muscle those things around the corner. The, uh, the Can-Am Spider with a backwards tricycle configuration, single drive wheel in the back. So it, it steers or through the corners better, plus there's a speed sensing um, power steering in it. So it's easy to park. You don't have to worry about muscling it around when you're parking it. And it decreases the amount of power assist as the speeds go up. So a lot of good thought put into that thing. The more I look at them, the cooler they are. Did I just say that? I did. I do have to say, though, when I get too old for two wheels, I'm going sidecar. Just because sidecar. What's cooler than that? Can-Am would probably be the right thing for me, but I've never been accused of being smart. So there we are. spring. The hot rods are out too. Alright, so I'm uh, I'm playing the fuel game here, so this, this could get a little dicey. So, I've got 189 miles to Meadows of Dan and 198 miles of fuel left. So when I started at the top of Mount Mitchell, I was upside down. I had more miles uh, to go than miles of fuel, but driving at a less spirited pace brings the gas mileage up. So I'm, I'm positive now, but only by 10 miles. So we're gonna see how this goes. All right, little sit rep here, um, north of Lynn Falls, on the cool part of Blue Ridge Parkway where it's got this little bridge thing that juts out. Sort of near Grandfather Mountain. Sort of, kind of. All right, so 141 miles to Meadows of Dan, I've got 170 miles of gas, so I'm getting a little more positive. So I should be able to make it to Meadows of Dan where they've got the best fuel in the world. Where are we? 
So I've got, uh, according to the Garmin, 120 miles to go till we get to uh, Meadows of Dan. But it's just so crowded on here today that uh, normally I would just stay on the Blue Ridge Parkway. But Garmin's going to say, give me an alternate route. So I think I'm going to actually take that. I've been stuck behind this truck forever. Oh, he's turning left. Oh, I'm not going there. I'm going to stay on the parkway then. Uh, you're killing me, Smalls. All right, so where are we? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I kind of gave up on the Blue Ridge Parkway, never made it to Meadows or Dan, so I am in Statesville, I think, off of 421, headed east. I kind of bailed uh, when we hit the the Boone exit on the parkway. Uh, it, was, it was just too crowded and cars were going way too slow and it was going to be tomorrow till I got back. So we're going to head up to Yanceyville, uh, kind of take the long way home and call it a wrap. So looks like 368 miles so far. All right, got my iced coffee, got a full tank of gas. Let's get out of here. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? The flower storm. Hmm. All right. Back on the sort of slab. I'll forget. All right, I'll check back in with you guys when I get back onto 158. Less of a slab, we can talk. Can't really talk right now, so back in a few minutes. All right, deviation again. I just can't figure out where I'm going. If, uh, if you look behind me, you can see that the weather is not so good. I was going to go uh, kind of northeast up to y uh, Yanceyville, but uh, I decided to go the opposite direction. So now I'm going towards Liberty, uh, and hopefully I'll figure out how to get to uh, the old Greensboro Road uh, and trace my steps back. Okay, just... Uh, Pass through Liberty, North Carolina, and the weather's looking really bad to the west. So hopefully that will, although it's moving in this way, isn't it? It's going west to east. I better get a move on. Look, fortunately, I'm going that way. So let's -a go. All right, we're on Old Liberty Road, uh, east of Liberty, so this isn't the good part of Old Liberty Road, the really cool parts between Liberty and Ashboro. I'll take a couple zigzags, and hopefully I'll make it to Old Greensboro Road, I think. I don't know. We'll let the front camera run. I don't know how long it's going to last. Let's see if it's running. Yeah, it's running. So skies look good forward. Skies behind look really horrible. All right. Here we go. Force is strong in this. Man, my butt hurts. Yeah, a little tired here. A little tired. Oh, damn, how many miles are we up to anyway? 463. I don't think I'm going to get a 500 mile day in today. <laughs> I, got, 
the dual sport guys, they wave. They actually wave. <laughs> the dual sport wave. Wow. Holy cow. Crikey, that's a big house. This road is so low, it always looks like it's, you're going to go underwater. Alright folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up on my excellent adventure to Mount Mitchell today. The highest point east of the Mississippi. Even higher than Mount Washington. Go figure. I want to thank all of you for riding along with me today and being impatient behind this little red Honda that's having trouble finding its way down this road. If you have not already, please subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. Give us a comment. Tell us what you'd like to see on the Amen Motorcycle Entertainment Network. We'll try to get there. Thanks for watching. Don't do anything Scotty wouldn't do.